check it out. Got them hairs cut. Well, hey folks, how you guys doing? This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to another day of my 2020 beekeeping season, where I'm taking you all the way from winter through to the next fall, here in my small operation, Southeast Louisiana. And remember, as always, this is not a how-to video. I'm just showing you what I do in my yard. But if you haven't picked up any tips and tricks, that's great. If you have any for me, be sure to leave me in the comments. Tallow is blooming. Bees are working. But today, guys, I need to go through and check on that virgin queen that we have been watching since I let her emerge in a bowl in my kitchen. Um, I put her in that two frame and I went in. I didn't take y'all along when I went in. I went in one day and there were eggs, so she was laying. So I caught her, I put her in a cage and I have a, a queenless hive, a hive that swarmed and didn't requeen. Um, and I put her in there in the cage. I put a marshmallow in the hole and uh, I haven't been back in about a week. Uh, I usually go back a couple days later, but I just hadn't gotten to it. So it's a long time since I made a video. I know you guys see them every two to three days, but uh, I had them stacked up um, because I was doing so much during the week. Back to work now and uh, just hadn't been in the bees lot. And frankly, this is a time when I just let them make honey. Uh, it's, it's not time for me to be in them, um, except for just remedying things. But my main goal today, let's go see if that virgin queen has... Uh, taking charge of that hive. I got more queen's hives I gotta look at, but I wanna look at that one and see what she's done. All right, the smoker's lit. Just gotta go back and grab something real quick, and we're gonna get started. All right, guys, so this hive, it was queenless. Uh, a lot of hives mine swarmed this year. Very bad situation going on. And I found when you have hives stacked next to each other like I do, a lot of times they don't seem to requeen as well. I don't know if they get mixed up coming back. I don't know if they get snatched by a, a dragonfly. I don't know. What I know is they don't seem to get mated. Now, they have filled this box up with honey, it appears, on the top. So let's see if our queen took. Oh, man. Good gracious, they filled that up. I got Remove some of that. Oh my gosh. Goodness. Oh, that's full of honey, people. There's the queen cake. It's full of honey. I may extract some of that this year. So let's get this burr home. Nectar in it. Let's see what they. Obviously, she's out. Let's see if they've taken her. Yeah, see how they're flighty? They don't look right. Huh, looks like we got a queen. See an egg. See an larvae. But they don't sound right. See there? Everything is being backfilled with honey. It's not a good sign. And pollen. The pollen bound. Not see what this guy, this light. Everything is full of pollen and nectar. And the top is full of nectar. It's all pollen, look at that. It's a pollen bound hive. So, this is uh, beneath frames. And they're, they're roaring really loud. They're just filling everything with nectar. Uh, it's 
the lady. I said, just saw eggs in that frame. Single eggs, I know she's good. But the problem is, you got like no room to lay. I'm gonna get rid of some of these pollen frames. And I'm gonna have to go through the top. So I'm gonna have to give them some space. I'll be right back. So what I did, guys, here's what I did. I'm gonna give them that one, that space. All right, we got some space in here and eggs. We're drawing out this one. Not sure why she's not getting anything here yet, but. Oh man, that needs to go toward the inside out. Just drop the pile of bees. I'm gonna put that here. There's some room on here to lay. So let's get this one toward the middle. Not a lot of room, but there's room. Probably all nectar. Yep. So put now it's just frozen, so it's not a good thing, but it's an old brood frame. They can pull this brood out and she can backfill it. Actually, I'm not even going to put that even in the middle. Let's see if they will draw this out. I just got to give them some space. No space. Honey flow is on, I probably need to give them some foundation, but honestly, at that point now where I just gotta get them put together. She's got eggs going in. This is slap full of honey guys. Oh my gosh, it's probably 50 pounds. It's not heavier. Oh my goodness. That happened in a week, it wasn't like that last week flow is on. So let's see what they've done in here. I'm not happy, boy. I'll tell you that. I'm not happy. Let's see what's in here. Let me give her some room to lay, but there's probably brood in here too. Oh, they're filling this thing up. Slam full of nectar, every frame. Which is normal. They're gonna go t to the top with the nectar. cells here. What's that all about? Oh no, never mind. Looked like a cup at first. It's full of nectar. Pollen and nectar. So she's not even up top. She's down there. Probably missed her. Another pollen frame. frame or one she can lay in but they're back filled with pollen full of, this is full of brew I've got my queen's land so what I'm gonna do I'm going to put a couple foundations in here to keep the brew to the center Full of pollen and nectar. 
Let's see if we got an outside frame. We can we can spin two frames out and put them back in the middle. We'll be good. Might just spin them tonight. Okay, see, I'll spin this one. This is it's just it's just honey. It's gonna have to be eaten soon. So she's got one brood frame up top. That's not good. Give her this one. If they can draw. I got another. I got another one of these. That I'm gonna give them. And uh, hopefully they'll clean that out and she get some brood in there. I'd like to take a pollen frame out. They just don't need a ton of pollen. They got so much in here. This is a good pollen one I'm gonna take out. It's full of honey. To be a feeder frame. This is a brood frame. So we're doing good. Brood. Froze brood. Somewhat foundation. This is a brood frame. It's got eggs and larvae in it. I am not looking for the queen. So some of y'all are going to ask why I'm not looking for a queen because I'm in a hurry just to get these things closed up. It's evening and they don't want to be open. And then we're going to put the last honey frame back in and then that leaves me two honey frames. I'm probably going to just spin these out in my little extractor so I can forge myself some drawing comb. All right, so we're giving them a little bit of space. I hope I didn't hurt her because I really wasn't looking for her. Uh, they just didn't, they didn't, they sure didn't seem queen right the way they were acting, but they at least had eggs. Or they at least had a queen three days ago. So that's, that's what we're looking for. So this is our little virgin queen that we watched emerge in the kitchen. And we moved her and moved her and moved her. And there she is. So, I think we might have finally got her home. Now, I was, let's go do this. Since we're out here, let's go take a look. And the two frame nuke, what I did was I yanked her out, put her in here. Let's go see if they messed around and um, made some emergency sales. They should have some by now. Not that I was trying to necessarily do that. I was going to shake those bees later, but I ran out of daylight. And I never came back out here. Let's look. A lot of bees in this little box because her brood I'm sure has emerged but she had eggs so I didn't mean to necessarily leave this for emergency sales but I'm curious now if they made some I might just leave them I don't know that there'll be enough bees and pollen but if they made them uh, there we are. okay so that's her pattern. That's that virgin's pattern right there. It's a good looking pattern. And that's full of nectar and pollen. They got pollen, they got bee bread. This also has brood. She got mated promptly. There you go, look at there. So that's what we got going on in there. Look at that, that's gonna be a good queen in there. We gave her some space. I need to probably put these frames in there. <laughs> the reason that spot is there's pollen and bee bread. This is a pollen frame I put in for them. So we've got emergency cells, we'll leave them. All my other two frames made queens. I made about five queens off of swarm cells in mating nukes. That was good. All right, guys, well, I guess I'll just leave them alone. 
see what they do. So what do you guys think? Success? Uh, that hive didn't look as calm as I would like them to, but um, there were eggs. So three days ago she was there. Now I just, I'll go back in in a few days and see if they've cleaned out those, those frames and I'll, I'll go through a little calmer and maybe we'll see if she's still good to go and we're gonna take a look and see what we find. But I saw eggs and larvae, baby puddles of royal jelly and larvae in there. So, And there were some larvae that was probably about uh, six to seven days old getting ready to getting ready to do its thing so she must have started immediately when she went in there all right guys i think that's a success well guys real quick i changed uh shirts and washed up and uh cleaned myself up and everything because i got these three frames and what i want to do is get rid of the honey out of that so i can freeze them and have drawn cone for my bees um they were full of honey and and you know that's a you know, y'all saw the North Florida video of my buddy, and what he'll do a lot of times, right out there on site, he'll he'll pull honey out of those hives, spin it out, nectar, everything, and uh, give them drawn comb back. And so what I need is I had a, a home, a comb, a, I had a hive that was honey bound, and so I needed, I pulled these honey frames out, and there there are a lot of nectar in them, um, but some of that honey is actually cured. It doesn't shake out too bad, but a little bit does. But you know, there's nectar in there. But, so what I'll do with this is I'll spin these out. These are nice fresh frames, never been treated with anything. They're new frames from this year. They drew them out, they plugged the nest up. I combined them and the other hive, I tried to make space, so I pulled some honey frames out. And what I'll do is I'll spin these out, I'll put them in the freezer, and then when I need drawn comb for a, maybe when I make up a two frame into a five frame so she can keep on laying and build her up for winter or whatever, at least I have a few frames. So as I start, Having to go through a couple hives, if I start seeing frames like this, I'll spin them out really quick. And um, the, way I, the way I do it is I'm not going to get out my nice extractor and start getting it all messed up and uncapping tanks and all that. I'm going to use a really neat setup I bought when I first started beekeeping. And unfortunately, they don't have this package deal anymore. Of course, you can buy the, the Chinese model whatever extractors on Amazon now. Everybody's getting those. And they do the trick. But when I was new at it and have those I didn't see them they, they weren't out there not for that price and so I, I got the Kelly bees back before Man Lake bought them and what they sold you was this two frame extractor pretty neat a little two frame plastic extractor Man Lake has one like it it's great they say that they say this they give you two buckets they would give you two buckets with gate valves one of these that hangs in there for your your, your cappings this little thing that fits on here, and your frame sits on that, and they have a nail you can put in there, or you can use these frame rests. So once you put them in there, they'll sit in these little frame rests they got, and they'll sit there for you. They give you that. They sold you uh, 400, uh, 400 micron and a 600 micron bucket strainers. Problem with these, you gotta use two buckets. So I'm gonna use my dual strainer today. And um, and then they sold you a basically a bread knife and a capping knife and a fork. I still use this knife today. I love this knife. I don't like the hot knife. I tried the curved big blade knife. I've tried all those. I like these. And they showed you a fork. And it's everything you need. You can uncap in here. It drains off in there. That sits in there and drains. And uh, you strain off into a bucket. So that's what I'm going to do this evening real quick. Spin those out real fast. It's a nice little setup. So I'm going to go ahead real quick and I'm going to knock this out and get these done. This honey, since it's got um, a lot of uncapped stuff, the moisture is probably pretty high. But uh, that's okay. I'm going to strain this off for myself. We're going to keep this in the house. I'm not going to sell it or bottle it. So, you know, if it is high moisture, I don't have to worry about it fermenting. But we'll eat it before it does that. So... I'm going to get that done, and uh, that'll be the end of the day for me. I'm tired. So I just run through, a, I run through one of these double strainers. They work really well. I think they do. 
and I'm gonna run it through here into this bucket. Look how clear that is. That's some um that's that spring privet. It's usually very, very thick. It was thick cutting it. The cap stuff was very, very thick. But being that I had a lot of uncured, it thinned it out pretty good because it's not uh it's definitely not cured. It's very high moisture. But we'll have this eaten no time flat. So I spun out three frames, three deep frames to free up some some space, some comb. And uh, we got about that much. That's what, a half gallon, you think? I don't know. I'm going to pour it up in some jars, take it in the house. But uh, good little amount of honey. And we, uh, we cleared out a, a few frames. So what I was doing, and my buddy does this, and you can try it too if you ever see a uh, hive getting honey bound. They'll start putting nectar in the center where the brood is hatched out. And they're basically filling their nest up because they got nowhere else to put it. Um, go to the outside frames. Pull some of those frames out on the outside that are partially capped or all the way capped. And so what I'll do is I'll pull those out. In this case, they were um, toward the outside. Pull them out. And spin them out. Free it up. And I had frames to put back in the middle. But if you don't, and if I don't sometimes, if I don't have frames, I just pull them out. Come in here. Spin them out real quick. And go right back out on the hive if it's dark then go out the next morning put them on the hive and uh i stick them in the center at this point and move everything out that they're putting nectar in so it's quick and easy and you yield just a little bit of honey now i won't sell that honey because again i told you it's, it, it it's got high moisture content it won't last a long time in bottles but i'll take that in the house put it in quart jars and we'll eat on that and stay out of our stash that we sell so, um but that's that's uh that's an idea and that's what I'll do sometimes. And I'm a buddy in Florida whose video you just watch. He does that a lot. He'll literally take an extractor in his truck with him. And uh, especially when they're pumping a lot of honey in, they don't rob while he's doing it. So he'll sit there and extract honey in the back of his truck. And he'll put the frames right back in the hive. And now he's got space. Because, again, he's raising bees. He's not, he's not there to make a ton of honey. So he gets the honey out. He sells it a little bit here and there. Gives it away. And keeps it for himself. And keeps on making bees. That's what that was all about. I'm going to go see what I can get out of this. So folks, that's what we come up with. Should uh, probably scrape another half a pint off the bottom of the bucket of the cappings and yeah, be close to a gallon of honey. And we freed up some brood space. So you don't always necessarily have to freeze honey frames. Go ahead and get you some honey out of it. Well, guys, that's going to that's gonna be it for this evening. Um, uh, the whole goal today was to go see if that newly mated queen that we've seen all the way from emergence all the way out now uh to see if she was accepted and it appears she was at least three days ago they sure looked flighty and weird um they just looked weird but uh, there was larvae and, and eggs and so what i need to do is go in, in about three or four days uh, or maybe next week and just peek in there make sure they're calm and see if i see eggs again and so once i once I let them go a week and I see more eggs, I know she was good to go and I didn't harm her. Um, so that's good news. And then, of course, I took you to the two-frame where we took her from. And my intention was to take her out, put her in there. I forgot what was going on that day. But, guys, I just left those frames in there. And that was a week ago. I had every intention of going back in a couple of days and getting them. And I could have killed the queen cells on those and uh, put them somewhere. Or really could have probably used those drawn combs. But, ah, what the heck, they made cells. There's three of them, two of them, whatever we saw in there. Let's let them, let's let them go. And I, and I had some other two framers out there, three other two framers, and they all made queens off of, off of swarm cells. So, um, so I got a lot of queens out there that can be used. But I'm gonna, uh, my main concern today was to go check on her. And uh, hey, she's laying, she's in there. And what I did was I, I moved some frames out of the freezer, some old brood frames, and I tried to give them some space because they are just loading that top deep full of nectar. And pollen, man, they're bringing in a lot of pollen. Um, so I just had to give them some space. And then what I did after I left y'all was I just decided, just for the heck of it, to go ahead and um, go ahead and give them uh, uh, some uh, a drawn super on top. Um, hey, maybe they'll put honey in it. We're still about halfway through the flow, and but maybe they won't. Maybe, but it, maybe she'll go up there and lay. But in the end, she's got space, and that was what I want. I want that queen. I want that queen to get established. Um, in that hive because she's going to be my next year queen. We know she's a new one this year So we know she's a year old next year going into the season and I'd love for them to come out of winter and and, um, and have a good established queen so 
All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. I sure do appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the subscribers. Man, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Who would have thought? It's amazing to me. Amazing. Um, it's, it's pretty neat. So I really appreciate y'all's comments. I appreciate y'all watching. Be sure and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to share it with your friends, your family, and anybody who just enjoys watching bees. Hey, this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful evening, and God bless y'all. All right, guys, just a little bit of bonus footage here. Hey, I'm tired. I've been working all day, but uh, I'm glad to be back at work, by the way, because full-time, because keeps you busy. Pushes me out here more. Anyway, um, I had one other hive to look through. I wanted to look through. I knew it was queen. It's that swarm that I got on the back of the truck in the ladder. I'll put the link up above. And, uh, you know, they never had a queen. Um... Or if they had a virgin, she never got mated. They never had eggs, so I put two swarm cells in there. And they didn't make from that. That was on the 26th of April. And here it is, almost a month later. And I finally was like, well, I gotta do something with them. I like to combine my hives towards the, uh, in the dearth after the flow. I don't usually combine them this early to get them ready for winter, but uh, they're not making a queen. I did find one, two, three, four queens I made off of queen cells, but I really don't feel like caging them and putting them in it and starting over and trying. I just don't. I'll make those into five frame nukes. So what I'm going to do is do a quick combine with my number one hive. We got a, I, at the same time I put a cell in this hive that I'm going to combine, I put a cell in this hive because I had an inferior queen. And I didn't kill her or anything. just put it in there. And uh, they made and she's laying good and the, queen, the hive quickly populated. So they need another box. So what I'll do is combine them with this queenless one. And that's kind of what I decided to do. It's a little early for my combines uh, to get ready for winter, but I don't really feel like requeening it and going through all that mess and building it up. And plus, I'm starting to run low on equipment, so I like to get hives combined into double stack configurations or at least singles before I go into winter. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Last thing, so I decided to go down there and check. They didn't have a queen. Man, they're loading it with honey and pollen, so I put some, moved some frames around, made a little space in the middle so that when they break through, this queen can come up and lay, and uh, we'll see what they do. All right, I'm gonna combine them real quick.